Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. Hey, you're wanting to put some of this aluminum sided reflective insulation in a barn or something like that? Guys, I'm gonna show you what I've done with my barn. We're gonna test it. I'm going to prove to you that it does work. I'm not worried about the R value. We're worried about the re reflectivity. So guys, watch this video and I'm gonna show you all how I did mine and that it does work. All right, so what we have here to test this and show, I have a thermometer, infrared thermometer, okay? This is the model I have. I'll put a link in the description. I believe I bought it off Amazon. Here's the box that come in. Okay. Give you a good look at it. That's what I have. What we're going to do is shoot the front of this here. There's a red dot that comes out. There we go. Now you can see that red dot. Let's go back behind here on the metal. Let's shoot the metal and see how hot that metal is. It's 116. Okay. So 116. And you got out here. 86 85 86 degrees even cooler 84 all right guys before we get too far into the video if you would hey check out the shirt if you like any of the shirts that i'm wearing in some of my newer videos here check in the description below it will have a link to where you can go check out those shirts yeah, like i said the sweatshirt short sleeve long sleeve all kinds of stuff that you can pick out that uh, different sizes as well some in men some in women so go check that out and purchase them You'll be glad you did, and just check them all out. There's some of them, most of it's funny type stuff. But anyway, so hopefully you guys like some of those shirts. So that right there goes to show you there's a 32 degree difference between shooting the metal and shooting on the inside of that uh, reflective. This here, what I have, let me show you. I'll put a link in the description. Mine's double-sided, okay? Mine has it on both sides. You can get it where it has white. They even have a wood grain look on one of them. I'll put a link in the description. On the stuff that I used, I believe this here is the five mil. There was a place I found that sold 10 mil. Um, they talk about the R value. I'm not as worried about the R value as I am the reflectivity. I mean, you can't have too much R value from something that's like this thick, okay? I mean, you're not gonna get an R20 out of it. But as you can well see, when the metal's 100 and, uh, what I say, 115, 116, and the inside's 84, it's 32 degrees, and it's right now only 11 o'clock. It's supposed to be 80 some degrees outside. It's not even there yet, so it's going to be an even bigger differential. Guys, if uh, if this is something you're looking into doing, it is well worth it, especially with metal buildings and things like that. I mean, it's still warm up here. It's not just going to feel like it's AC, but compared to what it was before, it's drastically cooler up here. And as you can tell, it's reflecting a whole lot more of the heat. So guys, if you would, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, check out some of my other videos. Uh, this here is with the man cave. I haven't done a whole lot with it lately, but... I wanted to show you guys this here because it's getting ready to be hot summertime. A lot of people are wanting to do this. I also got something upstairs in the attic of my house I'm going to be putting in. I want to show you guys as well that I used. It's a aluminum foil type stuff, but it's a different uh, product. And I want to show you how I'm doing, how I'm going to use that. And maybe it's something you can use as well. So guys, uh, appreciate y'all watching. And as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY? Thanks for watching.